Athens, the crunch is on. Five days ahead of a fateful referendum on the country's economic future, the banks remain closed and cash machines are dispensing only 60 euros per card per day. Of high concern are poor Greek retirees who depend on their pensions to live and who are now sharply limited. I only see my needs. When I don't get my pension at the end of the month, I can't go on. Some Greeks say they are fed up and just want cash, whatever it is. What matters is that you have money to survive. It doesn't matter whether it's called drachma, whether it's called euro, or whether it's nuts. It's all the same when you don't have it. The days ahead of Sunday's referendum are vital. The European Commission in Brussels is attempting to get the Greek Prime Minister Alexis Tsipras back on board to sign a deal, but many of Europe's leaders say the time for negotiation is over. The cost of a bankruptcy of one country which has a European central bank exposure of more than 120 billion is massive. It won't happen, that's my estimation. Today, Greece will almost certainly miss a payment to the International Monetary Fund, and its bailout with its European creditors will officially expire. Greece will be on its own. And to keep the country from floating away from the euro will require a tidal shift.